What is going on, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner, and we are on a trip of a lifetime. We are on the CNMI, the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands, and this is Rhoda. Three days ago, we left Jupiter, Florida, traveled halfway around the world with my good friend, P.K. Hokong. This is his dad, Pete Sr., and today, we're after sandbar deer. This is, without a doubt, the most exciting, most honorable, most epic hunt I've ever been on in my entire life. See, on this island, they have wild indigenous sandbar deer, a deer that has the best eyesight, the best nose, the best ears, and live in the thickest forest. And no one has ever hunted them that is not native to this island. I was given the great honor, the great privilege of coming here and hunting with Mr. Pete and his son PK. Today, we try to make this dream a reality. All right, you guys, so one of the crazy things about coming to this island is that they've never had an, they've never had an outside hunter, period, most less an archery hunter. So this is a military sandbag. We found some styrofoam. Now we're gonna go make a target. All right. Shooting the rage, hypodermic. Plus P, it's an inch and a half cut. These deer are so strong, so heavy skinned, and uh, I need all the penetration I can get. Robert, so you want me to make it double or single? I think single will work. Maybe double, I don't know. It's up to you. Perfect, that's perfect. We've traveled halfway around the world, five different flights. Let's see how she shoots. <laughs> She's on, boys. Look how much penetration we got here. So, at 20 yards, it was exactly spot on. All right, you guys, I'm comfortable now. Um, 30, 40 yard shots, basically touching one another. Great penetration, shooting through four inches of foam and a complete sandbag with wet sand. I have no, no worries that I'm gonna get great penetration. I have no worries that I'm gonna hit the target. And uh, I couldn't be happier with this diamond. It's a carbon deploy and I really trust it. All right, you guys, we're locked, cocked, ready to rock. I feel so good knowing that my bow didn't get dinged or damaged. My sights are all on. I mean, perfect. Again, they're not a sponsor. They have nothing. But that Plano gun guard case, five different flights all across the world. Perfect. Not a, nothing went wrong. This is a typical three point, three by three. But look at the Coke can bases on this thing. Beautiful deer. Rugged warriors live in the mountain in the thick jungle. Mind blown. He's doing that, he's making that whole sound with that piece of newspaper right there. All right, you guys, let the fun begin. Say hey. All right. First afternoon of deer hunting is upon us.
we're taking this long windy road up the mountain the wind is out of the east so we're going to the far west side get to the very top and then from what he says we'll work into the wind and uh it's a complete learning experience for me so i'm doing my best just to follow his lead Look at that beautiful Pacific Ocean out there. So we stopped here for about a half an hour, called a couple times. Now we're gonna keep moving. I have no experience with this. And this is the thickest woods I will have ever archery hunted in in my life. I mean, I'm gonna have to shoot through ultra tight gaps, but gotta do what you gotta do. expecting these deer to be up in this area and we heard four gunshots over that area so he wants to move he's the guy he says move we move running out of time, we're going to set up again. You can see tons of big, giant, fresh tracks right there. I know we're in a good area. We just jumped two, literally. We just jumped two blocks right here.
can yeah. see. She yeah. came right there, but I right. had her right there. I can see this coming in her. Come on. Pete doesn't want to go farther. It's too late in the afternoon. So we're going to go back to the house. We'll fish in the morning. And then tomorrow afternoon, we'll be right back up here. All right. All right, you guys, so we may be switching it up a little bit. When I was packing, I said, you know what? I should just bring a crossbow just in case. And it looks like I made a really wise decision by doing that. Three bolts literally put the entire crossbow together. I and mean, we're literally out here shooting our crossbow on a sandbar in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. This is nuts. Just look over my shoulder. That mountain back there, that's where we're gonna be hunting this afternoon. Uh, we've hunted three afternoons thus far. I could have killed a doe, um, but I'm looking for a buck. Now I did, I had dinner last night with the Lieutenant Governor, and there's a lot of people on this island that need meat right now. And he said, we've talked to the secretary and you have permission to shoot a doe if you want and then I can deliver that meat to some of the families that need meat on this island. So, doe, buck, whatever. If we see a deer this afternoon, you go. So whenever I came on this trip, I knew it was gonna be hot. So I brought six of these chili pads. Hey, how good does this feel on your head? Good, man. It's like having portable air condition. I just dipped it in ice water laid it over my head, but you can just get it damp and wring it out and it drops the temperature like 15 degrees. Go to frogtogs.com and use promo code DEERMEAT20. Get 20% off your entire order plus free shipping. Get yourself a chili pad. Um, a Paradise Sun Mandarin flavored tea does not come with your order though. Stealth mode. This deer right here represents the first sandbar deer ever killed by a non-resident on the island of Rhoda in the Commonwealth of the Northern Marion Islands. I wanna thank you. I wanna say thank you very much to the governor, the lieutenant governor, and the secretary of wildlife. I wanna say thank you to you, Mr. Pete. I wanna say thank you to Mr. P.K. Hulkok and the entire nation here, the entire Island for your hospitality and your wonderful love you showed me. I look forward to cleaning this deer and having a huge meal for as many as can come. I love you all.
Adios. This is my personal crossbow. This is mine. This is the one that I hunt with all the time, and I love this. But I, I want you're gonna. I'm gonna leave it with you. I want you to have this crossbow. For real? Yep. You. I'm, no, gonna, I'm not gonna use this one. I'm gonna put it on my. No, 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 no. Oh, there's only one, one prerequisite. Uh -huh. I want you to use it. It's not. That's not. That's not for the museum. That's for the <laughs> woods. I was actually gonna wait until we had the big party where we celebrated this with uh, with all the people of the village and people of the island, but it's just perfect with you, mm -hmm. you, yeah, only us, you know, a little. But I want you to use this. I want you to show the other kids how to use it. I, you know, I will send you more of these bolts, and I'll send you more strings and anything you need. But the great thing about this crossbow is. It'll never break. It's it's good, man. So I'm I'm glad you were here for this, brother. No problem. Really, uh, really, really cool. Uh, how many pounds do you think? Uh, that's about 100 pounds. 100 pounds? Yeah. 100. If you want to see us process this deer the way they do here on the island. The very first link in the description below will be an uncensored video and you're gonna see, I mean, I don't even know what all they're gonna do with it, but it's gonna be an epic video. I wish we could use, I wish we could show that in the main video, but we can't, YouTube has rules. So if you wanna watch the processing, go ahead and watch that now. If you wanna see us divvy some meat out and cook some meat, island style, we'll see you in the kitchen. Hey, what's going on everybody? I hope you just got done watching the processing video. That was a lot of fun. Now, we're over at my good friend, Governor Ralph Torres' house. You're the best. Not me. <laughs> Zen is the master. Zen is the best. He is, he is our local chef. He is our pride and joy of the CNMI. And now one of the local chefs is gonna show us one of the recipes, how they eat sambar deer here locally in the Marianas. Sambar deer seems much more rich, red, more dense, and has the aroma of like a, an antelope. We're using um, local grown green onions, uh, string beans, and the hot pepper. But that's all picked just like a few minutes ago. And then you get your yellow onion, some garlic, and ginger. And we're gonna come to a really, really nice dish, so you guys gonna enjoy that. These right here are special. My good bro Joe Haluska has been raising and growing long beans, but I've never had them. I come to the Marianas and we're eating long beans. And you use the pepper leaf as well. Yes, uh, the pepper leaf is uh, something that we incorporate in local dishes. Uh, the leaves that you want are the ones that are right under the pepper because they're the most tender. I guarantee you cut sushi. Local farmhouse. You gotta have black pepper, um, salt, or garlic salt in this instance, some vinegar, lemon as well, soy sauce, and oil just for stirring up the meat in the beginning process. And we're ready to begin. Some salad oils to cover the bottom of the pan. Ginger. Onions. Making coconut milk. Straight up. Oh, he's using the coconut fiber. Are you kidding me? Oh, there, you gotta smell this. 
so you can put your face to it and it's not it's not pushing you back you can actually enjoy that vinegar base melt you cooked it off already and it's ready to, to take whatever you want to get it look alive girls you're on YouTube Smell the sizzle, baby. Sweet cheese. Pepperly. Oh, it's one hot dip. Not one dip. A soy. Miss Betty, this is for you. Mom. Look what he just brought you. So anybody that knows my mom knows how much she loves her royal blue starfish. And he just showed up with this. I was like, oh my gosh. Mom, I love you and I can't wait to bring you here. That is good deer meat right there. Turn off your heat. Give it one quick stir. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I want to introduce you. This is a good friend of mine, a new friend of mine, Governor Ralph Torres here in the Marianas. This is his brother, Vincent, and this is Chef Zinn. Now, I've never seen deer meat cook like this, and it was a real honor watching you. He even made me homemade chopsticks. I wish he would have made me some homemade sunglasses, <laughs> but um, let's taste this. Look at that. Beautiful. So, I was very interested to see how the vinegar cooked out. Like, it doesn't taste like vinegar at all. It tastes like deer meat and herbs, and the ginger stands out to me, the soy. And it's not salty at all either. <laughs> this is awesome. Hey, deer meat for dinner, baby. Deer awesome. meat for dinner. All right, all. Mm. You're not eating that pepper. Chamorro style. Yeah, that would be the death of me. Well, mm. what do you think? It's good. Mmm. That pepper just smoked me, dude. Mm, I'm gonna pay for that tomorrow. <laughs> mm, I, <clears throat> I had no idea that was in there. How do you eat that? Mm? My mouth is on fire. Mr. Pete, I love you so much and I really appreciate you taking me on this hunt. PK, I love you too. Love you too I'm glad I was able to bring you to this island and, and join you on your island. Mm -hmm. Y'all, my mouth, hold this. My mouth is on fire. Take care, God bless. I'm gone. I gotta go.